Hello and welcome to my R tutorial on how to make a grouped bar graph using R using the package Lattice. So I have made this bar graph earlier and we're going to learn how to make it today. You can see it's just a uh, group bar graph that compares females and males. The girls are in pink and the boys are in blue. And how many of these dances that they choreographed from 2012 to 2017 and uh, there's a blank for 2018. So these are just dances uh, made by this um, some sort of ballet competition that goes on in uh, France or Switzerland. And every year they, uh, they choreograph a certain number of dances. And um, you know, the dances are either choreographed by men or by women. And uh, I just want to see how many of them were choreographed by women 30 years and uh, Maybe we should have more because more dance choreographed by women. They aren't doing so hot. But now let's just learn how to uh, make this in R. So I've made a um, a uh, sort of um, <laughs> a uh, step by step uh, outline of where how we should approach this. So first we have to put the data into Excel and then import into R and then we do something with the data, make it nice and pretty, make the bar chart, and then you know customize the graph, and then we have this graph here. So let's start with step one, which is putting the data into Excel into the right format. I find this rather finicky, so I'm going to walk through it. Um, here it is. I made a list of all their dances from 2012 to 2017. I think so you can see it all in one shot. And I have the composers. Actually, we don't need this. Um, we can hide that. Um, yeah, we don't need this, sorry. This is from the composer of the music, which is important, but we're not gonna make the graph for it right now. Um, and here are the composer, the choreographer names, and their sex, a girl or female. We have a, a lot of males lately. And um, <coughs> this is how you want to organize your um, your data for it to work in Lattice, at least to make um, this sort of chart. I'm going to try to, I don't know if this is, yeah, we can, we can sort of see what I mean if we do like this. So first we have to have um, your two categories, of you, as you will. Your two bars have to be um, in the second column, so you have a certain number of female choreographers, and that's seven dances. How many males? Zero. And you have to do that for each of the years. So just kind of look at it and put it into your brain because it just has to be in this format, or last is just not happy, at least for the stack, the group bar charts, in my opinion. So um, we're going to put that in your brain, and now we're going to write the code. Let's bring out our studio. So first, um, uh, let's do a uh, how to make a grouped bar chart in R with the lattice package. Um, and step one, we have, to, oh, we should probably say what we're comparing, and we are we are comparing the um, number of dances choreographed by men and women um, grouped by year. Okay, so this so we don't forget what we are doing. Right, step one. We have to import the package lattice, and that will help us, um, you know, library um, actually make the graph. So lattice. So let's see. I'm just gonna run this um, just so. Yeah, this this isn't fine. You always have to check. <laughs> um, so you first import that in, and we're still. Oh, we just did that. So we just did this one, and we did that. So now we are on step three, which is um, 
importing our Excel table into R. And this is a little tricky. I'm going to need to, uh, well, let's just do it here. So if let's just do, we're in going to, I guess this is actually step two. Let's just do it properly, at least here. Step one, put your data into Excel into the right format. So we can follow my my paint outline. Step three, uh, import, important, your data in, in the right format, usually comma separated. I don't know, I've never gotten tab separated to work. Maybe it does, but I have personally never achieved that. And um, you can just import in you know, using reading a file, but I'm going to do it manually. I think in this, in a tutorial case, it looks a little better. And it's only by what, you know, 10 lines. It doesn't really matter. So I think it's, it's better just to do it like this. <laughs> so here's the thing with um, importing it in. Because it is tab separated, tab separated in Excel, we have to convert this to comma separated for R. So the table will be tab separated in Excel. So we have to convert to comma separated for R. That's just how it is. And here's what I found out. Um, convert the windows in line or R in, whoops, to just regular new line. And that's because, um, I'll show you in Notepad later. I'll just show you in Notepad right now. Let me open up Notepad here. Um, if we do a view, this is just a quirk of Windows, which I am using. Um, if we show all characters, it has a CR. LF. That's a little, um, the CR I think is a little quirk of Windows. So we just have to remove that for R. Um, we have to do that and we have to convert, of course, all the tabs to um, comma. I'm going to add commas. Yeah. So let's ah, do that. I'm going to take off these symbols just so it looks a little nicer. So first, like 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 we said, oof, let's move this so we can see. Um, so you want to find all the r slash r's and slash ins and convert just to slash ins. This will um, well, let's just turn on the encoding just so you can see what I'm talking about. If you replace all of them, ta-da, the CRs are gone, which is like a weird Windows thing. If you import it in, it might cause some issues. I don't think it's a problem for Max. So that's one good thing for Max. And then we do the step, other step, which is convert all the, the tab characters to commas. So you do that. That's what we get. Let's change the view so we don't have to use symbols. And that's what it should look like. Yay! Oh, and you can have spaces in between your, um, if you have comma separate values, you can have spaces. Uh, generally, that usually means bad things in computer land, so I'm going to copy and paste this over. Um, so don't try it too often. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, so let's just paste, we're going to just paste that in. Obviously, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> we have to, um, put this into a, uh, Oh, oh yeah, um, we have to convert, put this into a table, and uh, put it into a table variable in R. So that we do that by saying ballet table. I think equals no, no, no. We do little arrow thing, and we have to do read table, and the text. Woo, we're gonna move this closing parentheses to the bottom 
There we are. Text is equal to, we're going to take this closing quotation mark and move you guys, ah, oh, that's just that so many, to the bottom. So now, yay, so text equals this. I'm going to move this, yeah, that looks a little better. So you can kind of, uh, yeah, yeah, that looks good. So this is going to be our text, this guy, and it should work. Um, and then we want to tell, woo, Tiles just went a little crazy here. So, our, come on. Oh, okay, well, I guess we can have our tabs here. So now we want to uh, tell the read table that we have headers. Uh, so we can say header is equal to true, comma. That's weird, come on. Enter, there you are. Um, and we want to say, we want to set the separator value, writer value. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's OR or ER. So we want sep is equal to comma, and we want to do just like a comma in there. I don't know. Some I really want this tab thing to work. Oh God. Oh my God. Sorry. I'm sorry. This keyboard can't type. I really want that to work like a slash t. I forgot a comma. But I've never gotten that to work. I only can get commas to work. And um, I think, I think that's good. So, so let's let's run this. Whee. Oh no, something terrible happened. <laughs> um, oh right, I forgot my comma here. Commas. There we are. Yay! All right, so let's check our table to make sure I typed in everything right. So we're just gonna run this into the console ballet table. Yeah, it looks, looks good to me. We have years, um, gender is here, female, male, female, male, and number of dances. All right, so a few, our table is, is made. So let's check our, yeah, we imported our table in. Phew. All right, so now let's do step four, which is actually making the bar charts. So let's first write in the, um, the commands for the bar chart. Um, so this is going to be, whoops, I'm going to space it out here. Let's make the bar chart. And we are going to plot the um, number of dances choreographed y-axis by the gender of the choreographers choreographers yeah that's going to be the x-axis oops grouped by year which is going to be just the groups right so now that we have our um outline, we are just going to do that. So the command is bar chart. We're going to parentheses that up. So let's, let's follow our thing. Um, let's do y axis by x axis. And this is going to be a squiggly line. That's going to be our command. We're going to do um, number, oh, what did we call it? We called it number of dances with the capital N. Yeah, R is case sensitive, you have to watch out for that. And our X axis is gonna be gender choreographers and if we read up here, we read just gender. That's another reason why I like to just put my table in this way. It seems sort of silly, but we only have a, like 15 lines and it's easy just to kind of scroll up and see what your data is. If I had a thousand lines, of course I would um, read and just a file. Um, input, should I input the data first? I should probably input the data first. 
input the data in. Now, this is all you really need. You don't need the groups. If all you want, uh, if you want to make a bar chart without the blue or without pink, just one bar, you know, throughout the years, you only want to track the men or only want to track the women. This is really all you need for bar chart to work. Um, we actually might. Oh no, because I had two categories. It might, it might just break. Yeah, let, let's do what I want to do first, and then we'll try experimenting later. Um, input the data in. So data is equal to, and whatever we called our um, ballet table. We're going to copy that. All right, import it. And now we want to set the groups. So this is, this is, is what the x axis is grouped by. I'm going to scroll down and squinch. Okay, and this is going to be groups is equal to year. You know what? I don't think I'm doing this right. Well, we'll, we'll just see. We'll see. We'll, 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 we'll fix this. We'll fix this. Um, year is capital Y. Yeah. Remember, you have to be, um, you have to be, uh, what do you call it? I don't need a comma here. Case sensitive in R. All right, let's, uh, let's run this. Cross your fingers. Okay, let's see if I can, can I move? Can I, right, let, you can see it, you can see it, okay. I know, I know, I'll just, Arf. oh god, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, you can see what our graph is on the bottom right hand corner, I'm sorry about that. Um, it actually doesn't look, in the x axis, something's not right, because it should be years, right? Because it should look like this, and it looks like that. So it looks like 2012, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's right, so the years are actually the bars. And the, so we need to switch choreographer and years. Sorry, that is wrong. So gender and years should be switched. I think. Let's. Okay. Okay, so let's crank our necks. Um. At least the years are on the bottom. That works. <laughs> um, a number of dances is on the y-axis. So I think this this looks more right. I mean, it looks more right. I think so. Okay. So you'll probably notice that we have to like kind of crane our necks to see what's going on. Um, and that's because it's horizontal. And we don't want that. So turn the graph. Uh, 90 degrees and that's going to be horizontal is equal to false so we don't want this we want it to be true and we're gonna add a comma there commas are the bane of my life okay yay all right so this yeah this kind of looks like what we're looking for you can see this sort of like the origin is okay well there's so much wrong with it we'll we'll slowly make it nice and I think this is the uh, the the core of the graph, I think it's done. I think the years, oh, oh yeah, the year, I, the years are one, two, three, five, six, seven, so 2016, 27, yeah, you know, 2012, 2013, 2014. So we need to fix this. Um, <laughs> these, we need to sort of convert these into strings instead of um, just numbers. Ah, no. Come on. So, um, <laughs> we, the only way I can convert them to strings and still make it look kind of nice is just to add characters into the years. That's just a workaround I found. I don't know if that actually uh, helps. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the actual way to make the years appear. But, um, 
yeah, like that. <laughs> so that's how just kind of force them into string format. <laughs> um, if anyone has a better way of doing that, um, please tell me. How do I get this? Can I zoom? Oh, oh, here it is. That's so much better. Yay, that is so much better. Plot zoom. All right, so you have, this is the core of the graph, Is it's done. We have number of dances, um, you know, on the y-axis. We have the years on the x, and we have the bars. The bars themselves are um, male and female, but as you can see, the genders are, the traditional colors are switched. The girls are blue and the boys are pink. It's a little confusing. So <laughs> this is actually the, uh, the core of the graph is not is new we're 80 percent done so now um the last step is to make your graph pretty and to your liking i think it's pretty important so i'm just gonna go um do this but i'm gonna take a little bit of break i'm a little tired i'm gonna get a glass of water and uh, we will make this actually look like this um the next video thanks for watching